welcome back. Goa State Commission for Women is deliberating on the issue of amendments in the rape laws. The commission will conduct a workshop which will discuss the issue of rape laws amendment. Chairperson of State Commission for Women has also appreciated Goa Police's initiative to start new helpline 1091 for women in distress. In the wake of recent Delhi gang rape case, Goa State Women Commission has taken some initiatives. Commission will soon be conducting a workshop in which issues of required amendment in the rape laws will be discussed. Findings of the discussion will be recommended to the government for proposed amendment in IPC. Chairperson of State Commission for Women, Azilda Dai Sapeko, said that it is necessary to make speedy trial must in the rape cases. I feel that something, uh, some uh, amendments are required. Sometimes what happens, the conviction uh, uh, rate is very low. So that is the one of the main reasons why these uh, rapes incidents are increasing. Sapeko appreciated Goa Police's initiative to start new helpline number 1091, dedicated to women in distress. She also said that it is important to make people aware about this helpline. Now to popularize that helpline is an important job what is to be uh, undertaken because until unless uh, people are aware of that helpline, uh, it's not going to be of any help. So to make it popular, like how 108 was made very popular and every person even in the remote village know about this. In the same way, if we uh, popularize this helpline, it is definitely going to help women. With video journalist Turshida Shari, Mukesh Kumar for Prudent. West Bengal look in good form and are set to be title contenders this season in the I-League. The three-time champions are looking sharp and can rediscover their glory days after finishing as runners-up in the last two seasons. East Bengal coach Trevor Morgan believes Dempo Sports Club and Churchill Brothers will be the major rivals for the title. East Bengal dismantled former champions Sargaonkar Football Club on Sunday and announced their title challenge. Coach Trevor Morgan, however, knows that there is still a long way to go as the season is just at the halfway stage. I'm pleased because uh, it's never easy. It's never easy coming here. I mean, we've had bad results here for the last couple of years. Yeah, I still right. think, I still think the, the going teams, you know, Churchill, Dempo, are going to be up there. Uh, Pune are in a great run at the moment. Um, probably, you know, it was important for us that we went back to Kolkata with with points from from this trip because we go straight from here to Delhi now. If we don't win in Delhi, it makes today's game really insignificant. We have to we have to go to Delhi and win on uh, on the eighth, um, and we have to keep the pressure on uh, Churchill, who at the top and uh, who played well yesterday. You know, they've, their answer to everybody was to win six 0 which was a fantastic result. Uh, and the pressure was back on us today to get a result here, and we've done that. So you know, now the pressure goes back to them. Meanwhile, Sargaukar are faced with real problems and need to stop the rot as soon as possible to avoid getting sucked into the relegation zone. We're struggling at the moment. We don't have too much uh, replacements. So um, we just have to muddle through, really. even last week again. You know, but uh, the, uh, at 1-0, I thought we were as good as them, if not a little better. Um, I thought the referee missed a penalty at both ends, uh, handball at both ends. Yeah, everybody saw except him and the linesman. Um, I thought he was poor all game to be honest with you. I'm not blaming the referee for the game because we, we threw the game away in the second half by not marking. But I think that uh, good decisions at the right time would have helped the game and helped us. A reporter from Mapsa, Shamsundar Fatte. If you have missed our bulletin, log on to prudentmedia.in or follow us on Twitter at Prudent Goa. You can also meet us on Facebook at facebook.com slash prudentmedia. And with this, we come to an end of this news bulletin. Take care and keep watching Prudent. Goodbye. You are watching Prudent.